Ah, good evening, and welcome to the Raven House Mystery. <laughs> In tonight's review, we are going to look at a classic detective character who has been, shall we say, reimagined into a more modern format. So, here we go. Nancy Drew, Girl Detective, Number 3. The Haunted Dollhouse. Now, this new Nancy Drew adventure is done as a graphic novel and is part of a new series of stories where Nancy and her friends, George and Bess, solve mysteries in the present day. The story is set in River Heights during Nostalgia Week, where everyone in town is dressed in 1930 clothing and everyone agrees to go without modern devices for the week. <laughs> We learn that a replica model of the old Collins estate is being donated to the local museum. This dollhouse, though, has a reputation for being haunted, and before long, certain scenes begin appearing in the dollhouse rooms, scenes of crimes which later proved to actually occur around town. This presents an intriguing problem for Nancy, especially after she begins investigating. She notices a doll of herself apparently being murdered. The plot is actually pretty intriguing, and I enjoyed the classic style of the story. Not just in the clothing and the look of it, but also the way the story unfolds with its spooky elements and the plot twists involving the real Collins estate. It's always great to have a mystery that has a finale in a spooky old house with a thunderstorm raging outside. <laughs> and since the first Nancy Drew book was published in 1930, I thought this was a very clever way for the author to pay tribute to the classic Nancy Drew while still telling the story in the modern day. It's also fun to see uh, Nancy, George, and Bess attempt to solve mysteries without any present-day devices, and it makes for some kind of funny moments in between the uh, solving of the mystery. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I haven't read much Nancy Drew, but I certainly enjoyed this one and definitely want to make a point to pick up more. Well, that's about it. Thank you. <laughs>